Alright, today we're going to take a real quick look on how to create a printout of your student roster. Now there's two different categories for doing reports in PowerSchool. You've got the one report section right here. This is not the report section you want. You have another report section right here. We're going to click on a class and once we're inside the class, then go back over to that left-hand side, and there you see reports again. That's the reports you're going to want. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to click on Student Roster. From here, I've got lots of choices I can do. I can give it a report title. We can change that title if we want. I'm not going to change that title if we want. We can take and select what classes you want. The big improvement over iNow is that you can actually do rosters for all your classes at the same time. But I'm just going to stick with my first period class there. You can add a class, a custom class name. Not sure why you'd want to do that. You can take and select how you want it to be sorted by last name, first name, birth date, um, student number, or grade level and then you can take and add some special columns. Now right now you've got one column and that column is titled name for the student name. But what if I want to take and add some extra columns? Well, what do I have choices here for? I can do the student course, student birthday, student gender, student grade level, student home, or student level. Or I can add my own blank categories there. I also have contacts. I can add the contact name, the contact phone number, and the contact email to this report as well. But right now, I just want to create my own custom report for a substitute when I'm out. So I'm going to be out on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I'm going to take and type in. I've already filled it in here before. So it's all filling for me. Wednesday there, Thursday there. Friday here and you can see name is still name up there you can actually change what order these are in if you want just by using the arrow buttons and then from there we're going to hit run report now running a report is not going to print it for you you still have something new to do you saw where it said it was queued and now if you look in the upper right corner here under the bell you've got a one that means you have one new report there so I'm going to click that and hit report queue and then from there there's my new report student roster report I'm going to click it and it just downloaded right here so right there I've got my student list with the days of the week Wednesday Thursday and Friday so a substitute can take and mark what days are there and what days are not makes it real quick and simple to do these roster reports. Now I would like to point out this report is going to stay there until you delete it. It'll stay in your queue until you make it go away. To make it go away just hit the trash can, confirm, and now that report's gone. You come up with more good questions let me know and I'll put another video together for you.